So, it, uh, Albert Einstein, and it's kind of hard to talk about modern science or physics or quantum physics, really anything for that matter, without, without talking about Albert Einstein. Um, though it might surprise you to understand how much he did contribute, or rather didn't contribute, to quantum theory. Um, so some background. Um, Albert Einstein was a brilliant mind that inspired several revolutionary advances in modern scientific thought that cannot be denied. Um, and this does include areas of, of metaphysics and quantum physics. In spite of the inadvertent assistance he lent to quantum theory, Einstein was actually opposed to this new paradigm uh, due to the uncertainty factor especially. Uh, the quantum paradigm also seemed to rival his theory of relativity as a contender for an all-encompassing uh, meta-theory. According to Einstein, we cannot have two different theories of principle, a priori, uh, to explain our universe. After publishing his treatise concerning special relativity in 1905 uh, and its companion general relativity in 1916, Einstein spent the remainder of his life uh, until 1955 um, focused on unification. Uh, relativity theory emphasizes the effects of gravity across space-time. The only application found in regards to the electromagnetic spectrum is the constant quantifier that is given to the speed of the rays of light. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, some of the field's forces, put this up here. Now then, um, what Einstein sought to use relativity for was to unify the, the g-force, gravity, um, and the em force, electromagnetism, in a gem. It was kind of the diamond in the rough. It was the gem. Uh, it was uh, the gut, the uh, grand unified theory, you know. Um, now, he was unsuccessful in doing so. Uh, many scholars and subscribers of relativity felt that Einstein just wasted the last half of his life in this effort, but more enlightened individuals felt otherwise. Uh, although still a mechanical model, codependent relativity rel revolutionized the existing scientific paradigm, and this surpassed Newton's model of absolute independence. Uh, the philosophic duality of absolute and relative um, is basically a subject of debate since the beginning of classical metaphysics um, and philosophy. Uh, Einstein's opposition to quantum theory was due to his being a neo-realist. Uh, he did not believe in hidden variables, undetectable dimensions, or any non-mechanical model of the universe. This should be understood. Um, cause Sometimes he's kind of overly credited for, for some things. Now, he was a brilliant mind, quite imaginative. In fact, of course, he quoted, um, or coined the quote, uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. But his belief that the subatomic, particulate, and allegedly quantum scale must operate according to some unifying theory is what prompted many scientists to later per pursue the same. Um, we don't need this up here anymore. Down. Okay, um, so what Einstein proved with relativity offers predictions of specific aspects with definitive results at, at basically our level of reality. These rules completely break down at the underlying quantum level. Uh, quantum predictions are based on the uh, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which came out in 1927, um, and only and, and, and the only result is probability waves or quantified vibrations. Einstein's attempts at attacking the integrity of quantum theory only strengthened it, which is why he is credited by most as being a contributor to a facet of science he actually despised, saying God doesn't throw dice with the universe. What makes Einstein such a metaphysical figure in both conventional science and New Age is that while he was a revolutionary in the mechanical age, he never lost touch with the spiritual side of the universe. He was not a material atheist, such as you will find with many other 
scientist seeking to disprove any concept of a design. 